A tumble down the darkened stairs of an apartment building leads to a death and a lawsuit. The plaintiff has to convince the jury that the defendant's negligence, more probably than not, caused the fall. This standard of proof is called a preponderance of the evidence. The Minnesota Supreme Court pondered whether the plaintiff had met this standard in Muckler v. Buell. For seven years, the Mucklers lived in a second-floor apartment. One evening, when Mrs. Muckler was descending the stairs to the first floor, she fell and broke her hip. Mrs. Muckler was taken to the hospital, where she died less than four months later. Paul Muckler, her husband, filed a wrongful death suit against Joseph Buhol, the apartment house owner. Muckler alleged that Mrs. Muckler fell because Buhol was negligent in failing to properly light the stairway. At trial, there was evidence that when Mrs. Muckler fell, the stairs were illuminated only by two small windows on the landing, in violation of a local housing ordinance. A witness who'd been going down the stairs in front of Mrs. Muckler testified that it was too dark for her to see where the steps were but that she could see the handrail. There was no electric light turned on, and Buhol had exclusive control of the switch to lights that could have been used. The evidence showed no defect in the stairs that could have caused Mrs. Muckler's fall, except for the absence of light. Mrs. Muckler had been 55 years old and in good health, except for diabetes, which was controlled. She didn't drink alcohol, and there was no evidence that she'd fallen down that staircase before. The jury returned a verdict in Muckler's favor. Buhol appealed to the Minnesota Supreme Court, asserting that the evidence didn't support the jury's implicit finding that Buhol's negligence caused Mrs. Muckler to fall. 